Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jeff Herndon. And I'm Julia Thatcher. The Weskin community is picking up after severe storms hit the town Thursday. Trees uprooted, homes and high school damaged. KSN's Alexis Padilla spoke with people impacted. Alexis, how are the cleanup efforts going? So far, it was a busy day starting in the morning, and some people say seeing the damage just heartbreaking. Thankful, no reported injuries from the storms. One Weskin teacher says that many students and staff were prepared. Since earlier in the day, there was tornadic activity happening just across the Colorado state line. It was terrifying. It was shocking, like, oh man, it really did happen. Many Wiskin High students and staff on campus for track practice when the storm hit. It was just where the kids and get them to safety. Sheltering, finding damage as soon as they came out. It damaged the roof enough, even on the big gym, that it was like a waterfall because it was still raining outside. The high school's new bleachers picked up and flipped. Track equipment damaged and two roofs ripped off. Word spread very uh -huh. quickly and immediately as soon as the danger was clear, community members were at the school yeah. making sure everybody was okay and helping clean up. We were drying all of our floors and you know picking up glass. We were boarding up broken windows. Debris scattered across the town, striking Sandy Miller's home. Shattered one of my bedroom windows and then it destroyed basically my car. Three of the windows of my car was completely broke out and something had hit the front end of it and scraped it all up and it was just devastating. People wasting no time to help. Cutting up trees that had fallen over and picking up debris. They have just really come together. It's been amazing to see. Wiskin's small, but strong. Hey Alexis, how is this going to impact the rest of the school year out there? Jeff, graduation was set for tomorrow at the high school's football field, but the storms picked up and flipped their new bleachers, knocked over their scoreboard and more. Graduation still on. There is a plan B. Seniors will walk at the Risen King Church tomorrow morning. Aside from that, the district still has four days left of school. With roof damage, broken windows and more, their principal says they will not be using the high school the rest of the year. Instead, moving forward with planned field trips. So we're still going to do those. And then the people that we're not going to be involved that are going to do some distance learning, uh, some career uh, or career exploration with their parents and stuff and kind of checking in with their teachers. Montero says they are still figuring out what to do on the last day of school Thursday. School has professionals coming in to assess damage and see what they can do to fix it. Here for you, Alexis Padilla, KSN News 3.